been a while. That was an aggressive, that was an aggressive wave. I don't even know. I'm rusty. One, two, three, clap. Hey everyone, I'm Geneva and I am not your average oddity. I am your still recovering from COVID-19 oddity. I want to make a separate video detailing kind of my experience, but I figured I can't like do my first video back in a couple weeks without actually explaining a little bit of why I was gone. I um, got my first dose of uh, the vaccine three weeks ago and two days later I came down with COVID symptoms and for th the last three weeks when you're seeing this it'll have been a fourth week I have been knocked down and working my way back up again the first week the first seven to ten days I was basically bedridden um, I went to the ER once but thankfully didn't need to be admitted <laughs> Cats. <laughs> can't live with them, can't live without them. As I was saying, now uh, since that 7 to 10 day mark I've been uh, working on rebuilding my strength because extreme fatigue was one of the worst symptoms. So <sighs> my cats are wrestling in the background, so that's fun. I have no toy to distract them with. Ah. Here, deck. Ready? Okay, that should that should do. <laughs> I've been trying to rebuild my strength. That's why I'm not really as cheery as usual, or as uh, animated. I'm still. It's gonna take a long time, but I need to get back to doing some of the things that I enjoy. So, today we are going to rate my board games. I love board games. I have no one to play them with right now, les sad. But eventually I will have people to play them with. So let's rate my board games. They're all right behind me. I don't have as many as I'd like. I like way more board games than I own. We're gonna go with Uno first because it's on top. Uno. I would give Uno a solid six out of 10. It can destroy uh, relationships. If uh, the rules are different from person to person, as they tend to be, like Uno always says you can't stack plus fours. It's like plus four and move on. But like that, when you do the plus four stack stack, it's so much more evil and fun and you feel better about it. And when it happens to you, it sucks. But like, you know you deserved it because you probably deserved it. I give it a six out of 10. I do love Uno though. Right, Duck? Apparently Duck loves Uno, too. Next card game that I own is the Oregon Trail card game. I would give it a 4 out of 10. Uh, the actual Oregon Trail, like the CD-ROM game, 10 out of 10. I could play the Oregon Trail for hours. How to describe it. You have Calamity cards, so like... You have cholera, and then you have to, like, get medicine or you die of cholera. And then there's the trail cards that say, like, you've reached town, or it looks like this, and you lay- everyone has trail cards, and you lay them out, basically, in a line, and try- and you have to connect them, um, to get along the Oregon Trail and you'll stop at forts and eventually you'll get to your destination. I just don't know that the card game is executed that well, but nostalgia gives has bumped it up to a four. The game of life. It's a ten. As Diana would say on TikTok, it's a 10 out of 10. I love the game of life so much. I love the spinny thing. I like that you can like go to college and then have a family and like buy huge houses and have cool jobs like you'd be like a spy. No, I don't think you can be a spy, but like you could be so many fun things. Like I I will play this by myself. It's not sad. It's not sad. It's fun, okay? I will play by myself just to see the outcomes. It's like playing the Sims, but in board game fashion. I like the game of life. It's 10 out of 10. 
also no this i have to give this an 8 out of 10 simply because disney seen it has some of the some obscure disney films in there that i never get and i feel bad because i know a lot of obscure disney films but apparently not all of them disney seen it is so much fun it's way better than regular seen it there's not much more to say. It's an 8 out of 10. And then, Monopoly. I have the classic edition. A Monopoly is difficult to rate because I love Monopoly. Although it's very challenging. Like, this is a game that is mentally challenging. And I enjoy attempting to win. Though it takes a long time, so that docks some points. And it docks points because I never find players who are willing to invest the time. I need to, you know, I need, I, maybe I haven't played with the right people. I need people with like Dungeons and Dragons attention spans who can do like the marathon sessions. Those are the people who would probably enjoy Monopoly with me. But also, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I play Monopoly right. I never knew about the auction rules. I just thought, oh, I don't have enough money. So I guess that's it. <laughs> but now I'm now as an adult and I kind of understand the concept of the economy more, I would like to play Monopoly with more people again. I'd give Monopoly a 7 out of 10. Honorable mentions because I don't own them, but I love them. Cards Against Humanity, it's a 10 out of 10. I love Cards Against Humanity. I always win because people never think that I have the mind that I do. Settlers of Catan, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. I've only played it twice. I think if I played it more, I would rate it better. I guess I have to mention Dungeons and Dragons, although it's not a card game or a board game. It's like a role-playing game. I love Dungeons and Dragons. It's like a 12 out of 10. I'm sure I'm missing many, many a game. Um, so, in the comment section, put your favorite games. And tell me if I have fairly rated the ones that I've rated. See you next time.